Uh, okay, so, hi. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a bit of how we do uh, when we're planting uh, for our window farm. Uh, what we have done is that uh, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we set uh, small seeds into these compost uh, uh, thingies. And they've been growing really nice in these small uh, plant houses. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a regular pea uh, that's been growing for three weeks. And uh, we use these net cups. Uh, have a bit of clay bubbles, which is the only medium that they will actually grow in. Uh, we put the whole compost part in, and this will fall off and get stuck in our filter, and then we, it's just going to be the plant with the roots and the clay pebbles. After this, we just fill them up with clay pebbles. The smaller ones we're trying to get out so they don't get stu stu uh, stuck in the system. Make sure it sits nice and comfy. That's pretty much all there is to it. The next thing we do is that we put it in the system like this. And he's going to sit here for two more weeks uh, until he's ready to go into Kulturusa for the big window farm. Uh, what we're using to grow them in is uh, Flora Micro and Fl oh, Flora Mato. Uh, which is uh, hydroponic uh, nourishment solutions that we got from a company called Ebofluid in the south of Sweden. They also helped us out with uh, pH meters and EC meters. And these are to make sure that the uh, water levels are right. The pH should be just uh, below seven, uh, about six, six and a half. And the EC, depending on the type of plants, should be maybe about uh, 15 to 25. Uh, and we, since we have two systems, we can grow both uh, tomatoes. Let's see if we have a small tomato here. No, not one in these. Uh, but we can grow tomatoes, strawberries, which uh, take more EC. And then we can grow uh, peas and salads and stuff that uh, need lower EC and still in the same uh, space. So that's it. Thanks.